video will cover the basic phases of reinforced concrete pipe installation for pipes less than 42 inches. Reference should always be made to all contract documents and the construction manual. Specific guidance for pipe installation should always come from the resident engineer. Pipe installation is referenced under Division 3 of the standard specifications and the construction manual. The technician's checklist found in the construction manual on page 3-9 is an excellent guide for ensuring the pipe is installed correctly the first time. Safety is always the first issue to consider. There are many moving parts and equipment and one mistake could have a detrimental effect. Remember, the contractor is always required to have an OSHA approved trenching and shoring competent person on site. Environmental issues must always be considered. You must familiarize yourself with the permit requirements in the contract. If in doubt, ask. The inspector and the contractor will check the information on the survey stakes to ensure accuracy. This information is used to verify the alignment and grade of the section of pipe. Observe pipe sections after delivery to the site. Record any rejected section and the reason. Ensure that the concrete pipe has been stamped with the department's seal of approval. Mark any rejected pieces of pipe. If the prime contractor has subcontracted out this operation, you must have an approved subcontract agreement form, SAF, by the resident engineer in your possession prior to allowing the subcontractor to perform the work. Ensure that the contractor has an ample amount of approved backfill on site prior to beginning the operation. Always maintain the pipe foundation in a dry condition. Bedding material should be placed loosely and shaped correctly so the pipe is cradled and settles into the bedding material. Specifications require the use of flexible plastic joint material for reinforced concrete pipe. Unless otherwise approved, only use a lifting device that uniformly distributes the weight of the pipe along its axis or circumference. The contractor should guide the pipe into position. The two pipes should fit together without spalling any of the concrete. Note that the contractor shovels out under the bell to prevent misalignment and allow for proper seating of the tongue. This is necessary to accommodate the bell so the entire length of pipe is resting snugly in the bedding. The laser target is placed in the pipe to ensure correct alignment and grade. Make sure that backfill is placed in layers of six inches or less unless otherwise authorized, with both sides brought up at the same time. See that heavy equipment is not operated over any pipe until it has been backfilled with a minimum of three feet of cover. Run pipe density tests to verify that the methods of compaction are satisfactory. If results are not satisfactory, require the contractor to change methods to obtain the required density. Record on the density form and book that the density measured is in a pipe backfield.